Salutations from space and aloha from Earth Friends. This is Gemini Brett here for OPA, the Organization for Professional Astrology. Today is August 26, 2020. There is so much happening in the heavens. Aries, Mars, Square, Capricorn, Saturn, Cancer, Venus, opposite Capricorn, Jupiter, and applying to Trine, Neptune in the sign of Pisces. But friends, it is Wednesday, Hercules, Mercury's day, and Mercury's at home in the sign of Virgo. Today, receiving a waxing square from a Sagittarius moon. Let's talk about the tense truths of the fabric of reality. You heard a riff from the great song by the great Biff Smith called Triskaidekaphobia, the fear of the number 13. Have no fear, I'm not here to dive into the 13th sign thing again, but I want to talk about some 13s and 12s in regards to the sun and the earth and the moon. You've maybe heard that there's 13 months a year, so that 13 is the number of the moon. Well, not really. Maybe there's 12 months a year, that's what our calendars say, right? Well, not really. It depends on what you consider a month, first of all. There's many moons, right? Circles are not the way that planets behave. This is a game of ellipses. So the moon gets closer to Earth and further away as she orbits every month. That's called the animalistic month, which is 27.55 days, I believe. Um, draconic month, from Earth's point of view, moon snaking above and below the path of the sun, the ecliptic plane right? What about the sidereal month? This is moon orbiting the earth. And that's about 27 and a third days. 27.322 and change. All right. Well, 27.3 days is interesting. The sidereal means of the stars. So moon moving across the backdrop of the stars, moving around the zodiac, 27 and a third days. And there are about 13 of those in a year. Divide the year of about 365 and a quarter days by 27.3, and you'll get about 13 and a third. So there are about 13 and a third sidereal months or moon going th around the zodiac every year. There's 13, and it's 13 and a third. And amazingly, try this one. Divide the 360 degrees of the zodiacal circle by that period of 27.3 days, and you're going to find you get about 13 and a third degrees. And this tells us that the moon's average daily rate, and it's very much an average, okay, but the moon's average daily rate is about 13 and a third degrees per day. That's why a nakshatra is about 13 and a third degrees of space, a lunar mansion. Okay, so there's 13 in the moon. Moon's average daily pace, 13 degrees a day, or 13 and one over three, 13 and a third, and moon circles the zodiac about 13 and a third times per year. 13.368 times per year, much more accurate. But what about 12? I mean, I think the months that you and I, most of us are celebrating are the alignments, the syzygies, that's the alignment of three things, in this case, earth, moon, and sun. New moon, right? So the periodicity, the rhythm of new moon to new moon, this is called the synodic month. Synod means meeting. So from earth's point of view, moon and sun meeting, new moon. Although really a new moon is a no moon because unless it's an eclipse, we have no idea that the moon's aligning between earth and sun except for looking to the charts and looking to the mathematics of the thing. Anyway, earth, moon, sun, new moon to the next new moon, about 29 and a half days, which is why the great old loony solar or solely lunar calendars like the Babylonian calendar, which is now the Hebrew calendar, the Chinese calendar, they alternate between months of 30 days and 29 days to keep that 29 and a half day pace. And they can't do it exactly 
because it's actually 29.53059 and we could go on and on, but just be here that it's about 29 and a half days. And if you divide the year by that number, you'll find that there are about 12 and a third moons per year. So sometimes we have 13 new moons in a calendar year like this year of 2020, where we had two cancer new moons, right? And we're all staying at home anyway. So are there 13 months in a year? Not really. There's 13 and a third sidereal months or moon about the zodiac moon across the backdrop of the stars. There's about 12 and a third synodic months, new moon to new moon rhythms. And it's 13.368 or 12.368. Amazing. Now check this out. Moon is about three elevenths the size of Earth by diameter. The diameter of the moon, 2160 miles. There's 2160 years in an astrological month, one month of the great year in astrological age. But the moon's radius, 1080 miles, all right? And the atomic weight of silver is 108. I could get into the 108s all day. Let's save that for another video. But let me just do this 3 11 thing. The moon is 3 11 the size of Earth by diameter. If you divide 3 by 11, you get 0.272727. Move the decimal, it says 27.3. The days in a sidereal month. If you divide 11 by 3, you get 3.66666. Move the decimal, 366, which is the amount of time that the Earth spins in a year, a sidereal year. Earth, moon, and sun, friends. I'll see you in space.